Hello and welcome to another episode of Hot Tech Tips. Today we're going to look at an Excel function called PMT. PMT is a function that will determine a monthly payment based on a loan, the value of the loan, the interest rate, and then the number of payments that you are going to make for that. And what I've done here is designed a little form using some of the spinner controls that are available and for instance if I want to click here on the rate to bring it down to 4% you'll see that the monthly payment changes correspondingly or I could lower my value of my loan by a thousand dollars and you'll see that that will correspondingly change or I can lower my payments from say 360 payments which would be 30 years to 240 payments and the payment should increase um, respectively with that. So let's go and see how we make this. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to add these spinner controls and if you don't have this you have to enable the developer tab up here on the ribbon. Okay, if you don't have this, where do you go to get that? You click on File, Options, Advanced, no, I'm sorry, not Advanced, Custom Ribbon, and then you go over here, these are your tabs that are available, and you check Developer. And I just click this, chooses everything below it, and then you click OK. Now within the developer, you get this ribbon on the tab. The controls are here broken into form controls that are easy to just right click and modify the control and ActiveX controls, which are a little bit more complicated and you have to write some code for these. So let's go back, we'll go to a new tab, and let's build this. So we'll add a new tab. And let's add our controls first. So we want to insert a spinner control, a spin button. You see the other ones are a checkbox, drop down combo, text field, scroll bar, things like this. So let's do a spinner and let's put it right here. We'll cover three rows. All right, then let's add another one. And finally our third one. So these are our three basic controls. And let's call this one um, percent. That's how much the percent will be for the loan. Number of payments. And then the value of the loan. And then let's center these back on the home tab. All right, then over here, <clears throat> we'll have our loan amount. All right, so now, the way you format a control is you right-click on it, format the control. Now, this is our percent. So in the form control, you have these tabs, the size and these if I wanted to make them identical, I could make sure that each one was a height of 0.63 and a width of 0.38. You can turn protection of the sheet on. If you lock the sheet, then this will also be locked as well. So here's our control. We'll make our current value 1.
our minimum value 100 and our maximum value let's say we can have a loan up to 50 percent that would be crazy and then have our incremental change change by 100. now here's one of the keys is you want to link the cell that you want this value to appear in so we'll have it appear here in d12 and click ok and let's go ahead and center the values that are going to be in these three cells all right so now if you see our click here it's going to increase in this manner up to 5,000 if I keep holding the button down it won't it won't increase more than 5,000 and it won't go lower than 100 okay so I'm going to also center these because I'm going to use these cells in a minute okay so now let's say number of payments right click format control number of payments let's say that the least amount we're going to do is 12 months and the maximum we're going to do is 360 payments which would be 30 year 30 year house loan and then have it change by six by half a year and then let's link this cell all right let's test that there we go looks good all right now our value now our value is a little tricky because we want the value to be over 30,000 if you're going to buy a home but you see the, ma the maximum sale value is 30,000 so we say we want this to be 300,000 it won't let us it won't accept it if we put it in here so let's put our current value of say 12,000 will be the lowest loan we wanted to get that's I don't want to do that I want to do 1200 and let's change it by a uh, hundred dollars each time by 10 you'll see when I do this in a minute all right so now we're going to link that here okay so now this value will increase like this so but we want this to be actually a hundred and twenty uh, I'm sorry twelve thousand up to three hundred thousand so we're going to link we're going to say in the cell below it's going to be equal to this amount times 10 and then that will let us move from 12,000 up to 300,000 we hold our spinner down long enough it'll get that high there's 20,000 it's moving through if I change this to say 20,000 you can see now this is 200,000 and then it goes by hundreds 200 like that so we could actually change this uh, control here and let's say the incremental change is going to be a hundred that that way it will increase by a thousand each time and move a lot faster all right and then our number of payments here we're going to just say this cell is equal to the cell above it and I'll show you why in just a second now our percent here we want it to be equal to this amount but in percent form so if I just say equals this cell and then I right click on this cell and format the cell to be a percentage then we can see this number is way way too big so what we want to do is say let me go backwards here let's change this 
to 10, 10, 500, and 10. Let's see if we take that down a little bit more. We'll say one. Fifty. And there we go. So now what we want this to be is not just this number, but this number divided by 100 to give us the percentage. So now if we move through the percentages, it's going to go 1%, 2%, 3%, like this. Okay, so that what we want to do next is we want to hide this row. So I'm going to right click on row 12 and hide. So then our calculations are going on in this hidden area here. All right, now let's build the formula. We'll click up here, loan amount function, payment, payment calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. So we'll click OK. Now our rate is going to be this percent right here, but this is also going to be the rate per period. So if we're making monthly payments, we want to divide this number by 12. And you can do that right here in the function arguments. So we'll say D13 divided by 12. I enter too few arguments. Okay, because I, oh, I hit enter. So let's, let's take this out and go again from the start here. Instead of clicking down to the next item. <clears throat> okay, payment, okay. The rate is going to be this number divided by 12. And you can see it's the here is monthly is 1.25%. Okay, the number of payments is going to be equal to E13. And then the present value of the loan will be equal to F13. Future value and type are optional. Future value is zero if omitted and that just means that at the end of the loan you'll have zero the, the balance of the loan will be zero and then you click OK alright so what they're saying here is that well let me just increase the size of this uh, one here All right they're saying if you borrow two hundred and twenty two thousand four hundred dollars and you wanted to pay that off in twelve payments at fifteen percent this is how much you have to pay each month. So let's make this a little more reasonable for a home loan these days. Let's say a 4% loan on a $224,000 house and our number of payments is going to be 360 payments or 30 year loan. So here is $224,000 house, 4% for 30 years, $1,000 a month. So then you could enhance this a little bit if you wanted to. Say you had a down payment calculator. You could say, if I put 20% down or $20,000 down, then it would be only 202400 You could do that yourself here. And see how much lower your payment would be. Or if you could negotiate a lower interest rate or you wanted to get a lower interest rate with fewer payments, you can play around with this. So that is using the developer tab, spinner controls, and the payment function within Excel. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.